First tonight, voters in Tulsa are deciding on a tax extension to raise more than $800 million for what the city calls critical needs. Thanks for joining us this Sunday night. I'm Chin Doan. The tax would pay for maintenance and replacements on city equipment and buildings. News on 6's Emery Bryant joins us with the stakes riding on the vote. Emery? Well, Chin, this tax would finish up some older projects that have inflation overruns, mostly street repair, and then move ahead on what the city council thinks are the top priorities for maintaining city property. Tulsa's police chief thinks it's long past time for his department to move out of the crowded and crumbling police courts building. A replacement is on the list for the third Improve Our Tulsa vote. It's one thing that came out of the dozens of meetings officials had to decide what's most important. Are we the city that decides we're going to pass off responsibilities to future generations at far greater cost? The $814 million tax vote is on the ballot Tuesday after two days of early voting last week. The Performing Arts Center would get a major overhaul, $80 million worth of updates. The bulk of the package, though, is street work, $296 million for wider streets and new bridges, including $94 million to finish projects already approved, but over budget because of inflation. Concrete costs and other materials and labor have increased as well. There is opposition. The Tulsa County Republican Party urges people to vote no, arguing there's time to come up with a better list without more money for the river and for Gilcrease Museum. City Hall points out that every project is subject to oversight from a committee that monitors spending and progress to make sure voters' wishes are honored. A majority of the city council approved the list with voters getting the final say this Tuesday. I think there's something that everyone will be appreciative of. Now, this is a combination of sales and property tax that, if approved, would keep the rate where it is now. The vote is this Tuesday. Emory Bryan, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.